For 130 years, First Nations children were taken from their homes and sent to residential schools. Today, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission gave those affected a chance to talk and listen. This picture. These faces and their stories continue to haunt. The people in this picture especially, you know, I look, I, says, I bet you I'm probably related to some of those people in there and I don't even know it. It is a snapshot into the lives of many First Nations children who were taken from their homes and culture and moved to residential schools between 1874 and 1996. Age five years old to 13 years old. And when I came out, I was so sexually abused, I didn't know how to act in front of girls. His story is not unique. Thousands of children were sent away to assimilate to Western culture during the time the schools were open. The Jack Residential School was a place where many people who came to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission spent their childhoods. It's, it's heartbreaking. It is. It's, it's hard not to stand there without a tear in your face. You're, you're going to get emotional because some of the stories that come out and it's hard not to stand there without a tear in your eye. And I, I got a lump in my throat right now because I, I know what my family went through, what my, what my parents went through, what my brothers and sisters went through. In a recorded session with the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, people are invited to tell their stories and begin to heal. People of all ages attended and it's as important for the young as it is for the old to hear the stories. It's going to be a healing for a lot of people. Just listening to the speakers makes a big difference, especially for the younger generation that's coming up. And they can hear it and they can, they can feed off of it. Just to understand why we have so much problems in our society today and why there's like so much drug and alcohol abuse. Is, and I think it's directly related to residential school and all the abuse that happened there. There is now a chance to leave a new legacy one where the next generation knows the past but isn't hurt by it. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.